uh, and the college itself right for getting an opportunity to talk interact listen and learn from the elite group uh from here onwards um i'd like to start my presentation all right what is this webinar about it is a quick peek on the design thinking mindset not about the detailed series or steps that are involved in a design process i'm going to give you examples of the products and processes created using design thinking and not the detailed steps on how a product was created this a webinar may help you to be innovative but not be inventive i do have open questions for each section for which you can answer in the comment box uh, i would highly encourage you to ask question uh, i i am planning this session for 25 to 30 minutes and i would go over the question at the end of the Uh, at the end of 30 minutes from now uh, i'll get started what is design thinking design thinking is an approach or a mindset to analyze a process or solve a problem this is no new science and all of us have inadvertently have these traits or used it at some point of our life or every day too there are numerous ways to solve a problem and this is just one among them there are a lot of tools a lot of methodologies but i personally feel in a design thinking is amusing and i hope to amuse you by the end of 25 minutes for sure all right what is a design thinking mind look like a mind that asks the bold what if questions a mind that is welcoming of big ideas and unusual perspectives a mind which asked what if i were a bird found the first flying machine airplane a mind which asks what if we create a ventilation system like a termite nest just for your information termite nest has the capability to be cool even in in the insides even in the hottest of the areas so the mind which was able to think what if create i create a ventilation system like a termite nest was able to create one of the best cooling systems in the world uh that it is from the engineering from arup in zimbabwe the mind which asked What if I am able to create something like the bird kingfisher, which silently goes into the water, catches the fish, and gets out of the water? That mind was able to come up with the shape of the bullet train that helped to go inside and outside the tunnel with minimal noise in Japan. Optimism. Optimism is not just bringing good energy, coffee to the table. It is about seeing the problem before you and its constraints as gold mines as opportunities for creating a better solution a better tomorrow empathy uh trust me 50% of my presentation is on empathy it is in a one line it is thinking from the customer's point of view understanding what the customer want experimentation a mind that quickly makes a prototype a mind that is comfortable in exploring an idea and letting it go when it doesn't work collaboration a mind that is open to talk to people with different skill sets a mind that is open to listen and a mind that is willing to talk to a mechanical engineer a doctor uh, or a lawyer uh, and that is one of the traits of a design thinking mindset systems thinking a mind when asked to make a child's bike is it just looking at the feel uh, at the wheels and the frame or is it considering the whole experience of a child riding the bike that is design systems thinking so having these different traits that is collaboration of all these traits is design thinking it is not limited to these there are more but uh, i would like to touch upon only uh, on these few let me start uh, with another story during my undergrad time uh, my friend arvin introduced me to pooja who had an online store uh, the happiness factory dot store uh, they sell magnets badges diy packs i was curious and started to explore more about the product i happened to order a few magnets for myself i ordered it online i got a package oof it was a beautifully designed it was it came in a beautifully designed envelope as you can see uh it has a robotic theme and i felt really special i felt as if i was opening a birthday present uh 
as i was uncovering the envelope i found a handwritten no a handwritten quote on it i immediately called up pooja pooja i did not ask for a gift packing she said i know i said then why did you send me in a gift wrap she replied um how do you feel i said hey i feel special and surprised pooja said yes that is exactly i how i want my customers to feel um uh, she further continued to explain how she felt happy when she opened a gift wrapped box she eventually discovered that everyone likes to open fancy covers to see what is inside and um, she, this is the technique that she used for all her products this is a great example of empathy for sure uh what does google tell about empathy deep understanding of the problems realities and feelings of people you're designing for pooja had walked through the feelings of the person who is receiving her packet when one receives their packet their anxiety to know what is inside is created so she catered that need yes i am dramatic i know i am dramatic yes people are emotional as engineers we are taught to be good at math um hardly we are taught to be emotions that is one of the reasons i guess uh we are not emotional towards the product good emotions make people happy and the product or service to be rememberable i gave an example a personal example uh let me give you an industrial example 25 24 year old veteran 4 years ago from general electric dug deeds he was the principal architect of um general electric uh, healthcare um they make mris so mri is a magnetic resonance imaging system uh that painlessly or without cutting the body has the ability to look at our insides um a medical device usually takes a couple of years to design a uh, test and get it out uh so dug did work on it for a couple of years uh he completed his project and uh, he it was out in the market he got an opportunity uh to visit to the customer site the customer is a hospital so he stood next to the machine uh he was brimming with pride to the medical technician who was operating it for the day he said hey this is nominated for the international design of excellence um it is the oscars for design um and he was just boasting about it and then uh, he was and, and then a customer came in um uh, here the customer is the patient a patient was a pediatric patient uh, a young girl um but she was not very happy she was crying she was tightly holding her parents hands and the parents looked worried uh, that felt suspicious what is wrong in front dug then put on the eyes of the young girl the beautiful machine suddenly look like a great big monster making noises the environment is not friendly it has different symbols uh it did look scary so and dug did notice that the technician picked up the call to get in an anesthesia technologist to sedate the girl because uh she has to be in a still motion for at least 20 minutes uh it was not a good experience for dug he went back to the drawing table talked to a lot of people learned about the human centric approach long story short uh he talked to the doctors he talked to children volunteered at a museum volunteered in a kindergarten learned about the children how they expo, how they react how they learn how they play and everything and he came up with a prototype uh, of adventure series he did not do such the technical the te- technical parts of the machine he did not uh, change any design except he just put the stickering on top of the mri machine as you can see he converted into a kids adventure story with the patient as the starring role and the technician giving uh, working as an anchor so uh, they also created a script for the machine so operators could uh, lead their young patients um through this adventurous game uh this is one example so i know i've told two big stories at heart human centered design is about building empathy with and understanding of the people 
will use what you create. It is important to understand their needs. I'll stop here and I have a question for you. What do you think of your work today? Would you say that your work or your workplace is human centered? Give me one step that you might take to help it be more human centered. So uh, I would read out the comments uh, in 20 minutes from now. Giving a second to and next slide. All right, so I just went over empathize. I have point of view, ideate, prototype, and test as my other sections. Uh, point of view. There are a lot of ways to see a problem or see a site. We use different techniques like a Venn diagram, mind map, journey map. Um, I'm specifically going to go over a small tool that helped me personally, a nine window tool. It's a simple method for analyzing potential application cases and customer needs. As you can see, um, it has nine small boxes. On the left, you have a system in the center. On the top, you have super system. And then in the bottom, you have subsystem. On the top, you have the timeline. Today in the center, left is the past and right is the future. Uh, it's self-explanatory. In the middle, you have the tree. Yesterday, in the systemic level, the tree was a seed. And tomorrow, the tree may log down and become timber. Tree, if you go in the super system, a lot of trees make a plantation or a forest. And if you see this tree in the microscopic level, you have the, a fruit or a leaf or branch or a trunk. If you look at the subsystem that is a fruit, yesterday it would have been a seed, a flower, or a DNA. And tomorrow it might become a jam or it may end up in someone's plate as just a cut fruit. Plantation in a super system level, today it is a plantation. Yesterday it would have been a patch of grass or meadow, and tomorrow it might end in a furniture store uh, or as uh, just sticks. So this, what does this help? It helps to have slice a particular product in, in, in different ways. Let me give you a challenge right away. Why don't you put a smartwatch in the middle today? And how was it yesterday in the systemic level? A smartwatch is yesterday, a mechanical watch. How will it be tomorrow? It helps with further thinking. Or maybe a power plant. Why don't you put a power plant in the middle? Yesterday, a power plant was mainly uh, diesel powered. Today, it's maybe nuclear powered. Tomorrow, why don't you come up with it? So here is design thinking is not just for processes. It's also, uh, sorry, it's not just for products, but also for processes. Here is an example of me and my friend Anjana who tried to solve um, or have a, our views on police brutality towards black in US. So in the center, you have police brutality towards the black in US. And in the systemic level yesterday, it was slavery and no civil rights for black people. In future, we really envision to see police treating all colors the same. Um, in the super system level, police brutality towards all dark skinned people. And yesterday, there was a, something called as apartheid, which led to these. And tomorrow, we would like equal treatment of all citizens. In the subsystem level, a black youngster is shot for processing weed. Yesterday, he innocently transported weed. And in the future, we would like to give fair trial irrespective of their caste, creed, or color. This is an example that uh, I've given for a process. Question time. Do you want to do something similar for police brutality against Phoenix and Jairaj uh, in Tamil Nadu? I would love to hear your comments uh, in 15 minutes from now. So. As I said, we went over the nine window tool. Um, this is an example of journey mapping, uh, my personal example. I had a task uh, where I had to work with the, our vigilance manager to see, to reduce the serious injuries in our uh, company. So I was given a task to see where all a blood is drawn from a patient who has a heart attack in specific. So a journey mapping is nothing but just 
going through or understanding the journey of a patient or your customer. Here, my customer is a patient. I work in diagnostics company. My customers are, are labs, but customer of the lab is a patient. So here, um, let me give you the quick overview. On the top, as you can see, uh, the timeline can either be days or weeks. Uh, here, I, I, I have just, I don't have a timeline. Um, so I'll go over this. First, in the home, a person has a heart attack. He's put into an ambulance. A blood is taken in the ambulance itself. Uh, and uh, using the blood test, it's confirmed he has a myocardial infarction. And he's taken to the ICU. In the ICU, um, he is take uh, in the, in the ICU. He's given some treatment. Catheterization happens. He gets back to the ICU. Uh, long story short, uh, so I'm able to walk through the journey of uh, this particular patient. So this is a powerful tool to keep the user's long view in mind as they design a product or service. To make a customer journey map, it is organized in different stages. Here my stages are instant diagnostics, treatment monitor, and buy, <laughs> um, or you can have your own. Let's take a live example. Now, myself, I'm sitting in the center doing a webinar. Uh, I wish I had run more hair. <laughs> uh, I'm the product, the webinar, and the service is provided by Mr. Arul and College. They are the service. Touch points, you may use any of these devices uh, and the customers here are uh, the students or the lecturers uh, from the mechanical department, whoever is watching. So I'd like to stop here with the, the point of view. Point of view is nothing but having a macroscopic view, microscopic view, slicing, dicing of looking at a problem or an environment. Ideate. Uh, here is another exciting story. What is ideation? To come up with new concepts of problem, of solving a problem with constraints available. I am sure that you are taught um, or to think outside the box. Design thinking also encourages you to think inside the box. Um, so what is thinking inside the box? It's to perform an activity or solve the problem with with limited constraints or with limited amount of objects around you. Here's an example. So on the left um, is Apollo 13. Uh, it was a second man mission to moon. And I would like to recollect a particular incident and, and, and see what we can learn from it for ID8. Um, Apollo 13 had two modules. Uh, in the space uh, center, it had a command module and a lunar module. The command module was shut down because of uh, an, a small accident. And uh, all there were three astronauts, and the astronauts moved to the lunar module. Um, and uh, the, since there were three astronauts, the module was not able to uh, take care of the carbon dioxide. And they used a lithium hydroxide to remove the carbon dioxide. Um, and uh, the air purifier uh, was uh, was not able to remove all the carbon dioxide. So coming to the problem, in order to survive, they need to make an additional air purifier in the module they were currently being. And they did have a little bit of lithium hydroxide that they needed to survive uh, in the other module, which is broken. So now they have a problem and uh, and the solution is they need to make an air purifier with the items that are there in the air in the spacecraft. So the ground crew in Houston made a list of items in the spacecraft: shoes, socks, navigation books, strings from uh, t-shirts or shirts, and all the other different constraints. Uh, so they had these material constraints plus the time constraints. They need to do it in six hours or less. So they quickly got all the items in the table, they quickly made a air purifier, they sent the design to the space station, and hola, uh, they were able to create an air purifier in record amount of time, So, and they were able to uh, survive. It was a successful mission, uh, at least successful in bringing them back alive. So in ID8, constraints are important. All right, question time.
do you want to empathize have a different point of view look around what all materials you have and to add a little more spice let's uh, let me tell you that you're not able to get out of your house for some reason or the other uh, why don't you make a ventilator for your friend who needs it right away so you have uh, 10 minutes to ideate it why don't you put your ideas look at the objects around you make a ventilator tell me how you would make a ventilator in the comments and i would read them uh, in 10 minutes from now all righty so we empathized we saw different points of view we ideated prototyping what is a prototype uh, it is the ability to quickly make uh, some uh, 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 an object uh, that is our huge vision out of the materials that are around us to see the minimum functionality or to get a minimum viable product um, the audience here are mechanical engineers um, so i'm sure uh, you're aware of uh, cad using pen pencil 3d printing i'm not going to talk about those i would like to tell about a less frequently used one called storyboarding i worked this um, uh, in in one of my previous uh, startups, uh, I worked with my team, uh, Akshata and Sanjit, where uh, we want we were doing uh, software for requirements gathering. Uh, we did not start. We we did not code or do anything, but yet we wanted to tell people what we were doing so that we get investment. So this is an example of how we did. So as you can see, there is an old man telling, hey, a lot of customers are there. Really, it's difficult to sort the data. And he looks at the computer. He finds our uh, company, uh, Excelsior, and says, wow, this looks like a good software, and it has good reviews. Let me try it. And uh, in the next, uh, in the bottom left, he says, customer requirements can be documented with ease. It is easy to carry out the verification validation processes. And last one is, just like a marketing one hey the manufacturer's products are exactly with in accordance with the specifications uh so um the gist of it is you need not actually make a product to explain to someone about what it is try to show in a story be a good storyteller or let pictures talk for you so this is uh, about prototyping um and last one is test so we talked about empathizing having different points of view ideate we did prototype and testing um about testing prototype as if you are right but test as if you are wrong so have that mentality having said that uh here is my friend josh and uh myself grinning with joy uh after making our first model on the palm tree climber we did a lot of studies, calculations, design, uh, made a prototype, and we were ready to test it in the field. As you can see, it is a huge metal device. And uh, initially, in our design constraints, we test, uh, we, we had presumption of having a firm soil on which our device would be moved. But uh, we, uh, during our real testing, the soil was not firm and uh, it lost its balance. Sad story, but still, uh, we were able to correct it in our future iterations. Hope we had empathized this in the beginning, which we didn't do. So end of story. Um, I'm telling again, prototype as if you are right, but test as if you are wrong. With this, um, I would, uh, conclude my uh, session for the day. However, I, I would give you a run through of whatever I said now in quick two minutes and I would open up for uh, the comment section. So we did first look at the empathize, empathize, deep understanding of the problems, realities, feeling of the people you're designing for, point of view. There are different ways to define or see a problem and get its insight. Ideate. Remember to think outside the box in addition to thinking. Oh, sorry, remember to think inside the box in addition to thinking outside the box. Ideate. Um, 
uh, that is ideate and prototype is to quickly make a prototype out of the materials that are around you um, during ideation uh, constraints are important um, and testing prototype as if you are right and test as if you are wrong uh, and how does a design thinking mind look like asking questions asking goal what if questions optimism looking at the problem as if you see a gold mine empathy looking at looking from a customer's point of view experimentation um a mind that quickly makes a prototype collaboration a mind that is willing to talk to different people systems thinking a mind that is able to look at the depth and also at a bigger picture learn not uh fearing to fail and learning from failure, iterating uh, and having a 360 degree overview, uh, looking at all sides and leaving no doors unopened is uh, very important and ideal uh, for a design thinking mindset. With this, I would um, conclude and uh, I'm open for comments or questions. Uh, let me go. Okay, I see. Let me go to the beginning. Thirty. I'm sorry, I'm reading a lot of names, but uh, I couldn't see a question, so I'm just looking at the questions. Okay. Uh, so. Lavanyan has asked for your question, can we increase the manpower working with the distribution of work among the capacity and time duration to complete? This is my point of view. Uh, can we manpower working with the distribution of work among the capacity? Sorry, I'm not able to understand this, Lavanyan. Uh, if you can help me explain more so that I can understand, I would get back to you. Um, to bring more humanity, I will try to motivate my students through that perspective. I will try to motivate my... Oh, okay. So Gayatri Kulkarni says, to bring more humanity, I will try to motivate my students through that perspective. Okay. Uh, thank you, Gayatri. Nature first. Uh, the police must work by obeying the rules. A very interesting um, uh, perspective, Lavanyan. Uh, I did have a detailed discussion with my friend on this too. So, having a 360 degree uh, look into this uh, into this particular perspective, uh, so into this particular issue, how are the polis treated? How long are they working? What are their working hours? Um, having looking into those sections also might give you a 360 degree uh, uh, inspection into the view. Uh, Arul says, I understand problems and difficulties in the student point of view and provide solutions for that. Oh, very good, Arul. Uh, Gayatri says, value education is added to syllabus for namesake. It must be thoroughly executed. Um, it's a thought, Gayatri. Um, um, it's a good thought. How, do you, how would you like to see it? How would you like to see... Uh, the education uh, to be thoroughly executed. Um, I look for Gayatri Kulkarni again says, we can make use of a rubber cap, a pipe, or a hose, an oxygen cylinder to make a ventilator. Oh, good idea. Wow, that's nice. Um, if you have a chance, I would if you can make it and send up and email me a photo, uh, I'd love to see it. Or I even share it uh, with your college. That's a good one. Thank you. Yes, there are a lot of names. And Mohan Kumar, oh, okay, before that, uh, Muji Tech asks, innovation should be compuls should be compulsorily commercial oriented? Definitely not. Immer uh, innovation is not <laughs> compulsorily in a, uh, commercial oriented. It need not be commercial. As you saw, I was, uh, we were able to solve 
public problems we were able to solve first we can even solve personal problems uh, it is just a way of thinking how broad are you open to think how uh, what are the what are you willing to not see what are you willing to see uh, so it definitely is not uh, commercial oriented what are the ways of new product development well uh, as i said in the in initial there are a lot of different uh, methodologies for new product development you can use design thinking in any of those development processes uh, all right professor rao jana electric vehicle design in india now lithium ion battery technology is not available in india right now we are importing lithium ion batteries from abroad how can we develop it in india um i do not know the specifics of it professor uh we need to do little more research on where lithium ion where the material is do we have lithium ion source lithium ion uh, lithium sources in india do we have that uh, so i am not aware of that so we need to do a little more research on the raw materials that is available uh, do we have the technology to extract it and everything if we have it yes we can this design thinking mindset how is it possible sorry that was my presentation on okay so gayatri gave answered me back saying sir a uh, value education i mean military training should be made compulsory in curriculum so as to bring more patriotism in people so as to reduce these brutality things happening in our country uh, again gayatri so you are giving a solution i would look to dig I, I would request you to dig deep into why the policeman did it. So, put yourself in the policeman situation. Think of how they got recruited right from their age of eighteen. What college they went? How was their mindset? Try to learn about their mindset, and then then come up with this answer. I like your answer. You are very much answer oriented. I like that. But I would like you to dig deep, go into the root. take the journey look at their perspective walk in the shoes of the policemen before you can uh, come up with this answer i do like this answer but i would highly encourage you to go one step behind so lavanian again answers uh, we must devise a book which comprises of basics and procedures of the design concepts of the product individually um okay um I, i do not get your context yet but uh, yeah if you can email me with a detailed question i would be able to answer that i think i just reached the end of the comments all right um thank you very much um thank you for your comments thank you for giving me an opportunity to talk to you uh and, and i it is interesting to see your different perspective on design thinking on the different issues uh on what you would like to do uh with here i would like to conclude uh thank you uh, i sincerely thanks to kripa shankar for carrying out this webinar in a grand successful manner thank you all the feedback is posted in youtube chat box the certificate is tomorrow evening you will get a certificate have a good day thank you all thank you